how do I find the right community for me? There's lots of data out there and plenty of religious communities. How do I find just the right fit? Well, one way to do it is to investigate what is the charism of the order? What is the apostolate of the order? The charism is the grace of the Holy Spirit that in some way benefits the church. Like for the Franciscans, one of our charisms is to spread the joy of the gospel, simply spreading the teachings of Jesus Christ. And you might want to investigate what is the apostolate to the order? The apostolate is what the, the community does, what they actually do in ministry, like the Franciscans would teach and heal and shepherd and serve those on the margins. Concretely, they do this in the role of professors and teachers, pastors, nurses and hospitals, soup kitchen workers and missionaries. It's our fraternity that feeds our ministry. It supports and sustains our ability to do apostolate and work in the church. If you think of a community as a pendulum that might be at one end or the other, one end might be a contemplative order like the Trappists that has quiet contemplative prayer. And on the other side of that pendulum might be the active missionary work of the Marino missionaries. And each community is going to fall somewhere on that pendulum from apostolic activity to contemplative prayer. One question you might ask yourself is, what ministry really excites me? It gets me charged and, and excited to do a particular thing. And what on the other side, makes me feel dreadful. I'm not interested in that at all. That's going to help you choose the right community by seeing what apostolate they're doing to build up the church. You might think of it like sandals. You know, some sandals fit really well. You put your foot in there, and it's a fine fit. There's no perfect fit, but there's an adaption where your foot becomes molded to that sandal. And that sandal is going to give and take to the shape and size of your foot. It's not going to cause you any pain or discomfort, but it's going to be a fine walk. It's going to support you in your walk of life. If a vocation is the intersection of your desires and God's desires, and where they intersect there in the middle is a place where you find peace and joy and excitement, that's the community for you. That's the place where you will be able to thrive. But community will both challenge you, and it will also be a place that will be changed by your presence and your contribution to that community. We know that God works in all the events of your life. And to look back at your history to see what communities have been part of your history, maybe in grade school or junior high or high school or college, your experience of that particular community, that's worth investigating. The best way to choose a community that's right for you is simply to visit many communities so you have many to compare and contrast to and call a vocation director that would be more than happy to help you discern or choose the best fitting community for you.